Hello, class. Good evening, teacher. Hi, I'm sorry I was a little late today. Hey, that's a nice picture, Giselle. Anna Lisette, too, that's a very nice picture you have. Thank you. Nice. How are you? How was your day today? Very good. Little sick. Wow. Oh, oh yeah. Man, uh, this week. The flu. <laughs> I hope it's only the flu and not. Yes. Hello, teacher. Hi. Welcome. Uh, teacher, una pregunta. Mande. Me he tardado casi 10 minutos para poder ingresar a la reunión y ahora que logro entrar, no sé cuánto tiempo tiene usted de haber entrado a, a la Ay, reunión. No, no, disculpe, no se preocupe, a mí también me costó entrar, yo acabo de entrar. Uh, ya estaba afligida porque decía que estaba en otra reunión y yo, ¿será que me sacaron y estoy en otra? No, a mí, a mí se me, la es... conexión me decía que se me iba y chequeaba, pero no, no estoy bien ya. Ok. Está bien, entonces. Gracias. Sí, también a mí me gusta entrar. No problem. Good evening. All right. Good evening. Welcome. Everybody's here. Do Good evening. evening. Good evening. Yeah, sure. Good evening. How are you? How are you? Hello, Mr. Guzman. Hey, teacher. How are you today? I'm okay, good. Miriam, say hi to Guzman. Yes. Hi, Guzman. <laughs> hi, Miriam. <laughs> As I remember yesterday, right? Hey, Guzman, <laughs> don't hate me, please. <laughs> don't worry. Uh, Como es, don't hate the player, hate, hate the game. Ah. <laughs> all right, good. So, um, all right, hey, the majority of the people are here today. All right. So let me see, let me open up the... Do, 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 do. So remember, what did we do yesterday? Do you remember what we we're practicing yesterday? Yeah. Yes. What? Conjunction. Conjunctions. Conjunction. On. Um, but. Okay. Um. Yeah, we we're doing but. What happens when you say but? What happens? Okay, what what's uh, the difference between and and but? Uh, positive and, and one negative. And we can use for two sentence positive and negative. And negative. Well, actually, or negative. But and we used to unite I, two positives or, negative. or negatives. And but. Mm -hmm. But um, connect to idea, different idea. Connect different ideas. And the so perfect that's example, that's remember, that's remember the perfect example? Oh, you're a very nice man. I like you very much, but as a friend. But. But, but only, only as a friend. Yeah. The mouse, uh, the mouse has words that a man can hear. Yeah. Jose Arturo, I have a question for you. Is the audio you're you are you in a laptop or in your cell phone? On cell phone. So you're using the microphone from your cell phone? Um, um my 
um, we might have water. Because this is how you sound. This is how you sound. Listen. You sound like this when you talk. Um, I believe that my internet is bad. Try to not, try to turn off the camera. Uh, okay, uh, we'll turn off. Oh, maybe. Let me, um, can you hear me? Yeah, talk. <laughs> Now, uh, can you hear me? Yes. No, I mean, I, I definitely we can hear you, but I think maybe, maybe it's that I don't know. Do you have earphones, but with extension, with a no. microphone? Oh, okay. These are uh, what are you? Oh, okay. No, and maybe they are good, but the micro, the 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 audio, I can't hear. I mean, it's not very. It sounds a lot of echo. Like I don't know how to describe. You sound like this. You sound like this. Okay. Um, like um, you are inside a box. No, but it's okay. I mean, all right. So um, let's do this. Do you see my my? Do you see my my computer? Do you see my web page? I'm sorry, yes, my screen. Yes. My web page. <laughs> All right, knowledge check. Taipei is very nice. Everyone is extremely friendly. Taipei is very nice and everyone is extremely friendly. Or is this correct or not? It's correct. Oh yeah, it's only an option here. Okay, the streets are crowded. It's easy to get around and foul. The streets are crowded and it's easy to get around. The streets are crowded. It's easy to get around. Which which you think is? Second option. Second option, good. The weather is nice. Summers get pretty hot. And however, the weather is nice. Summers get pretty hot, however. The weather is pretty nice and summer get pretty hot. The one. Yeah, the first one. Shopping is great. You have to bargain in the markets and but. Shopping is great, but you have to bargain in the markets. Shopping is great and you have to bargain in the markets. The first one. One. Good. The food is delicious. It's not too expensive. The, the food is delicious, but it's not too expensive. The second one. All right, cool. Let's submit. We got them all right. Okay, next it says, in this session, modal verbs can and should will be introduced in a conversation. All right, so let's listen to can and should, okay? Hold on, let me share the words with you. Y que fea la deje pausada de la pobre. <laughs> Can you hear? Hi, I want you to listen to this conversation. Can you hear? Yes, yes teacher. Okay, good. I'm going to start from zero again. Hi, I want you to listen to this conversation and try to identify the modal verbs which are being introduced in this audio program. Also, it is recommended for you to practice this conversation with someone else. Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Sure I can. What would you like to know? Well, what's a good time to visit? I think you can go anytime. The weather is always nice. Oh, good. And what should I see there? Well, you should definitely visit the National Museum and go to the Palace of Fine Arts. And what else? Oh, you shouldn't miss the Pyramid of the Sun. It's very interesting. It all sounds really exciting.
All right. Do you see my screen? Yes. I can. I can okay. Now, yes. Oh, wait. Okay, there's me now. Here, we're going to learn now with can and should. Let me see, hold on. Let me see the, let's go back to the verbs. Let me show. Can you hear? You have already listened to a conversation where can and should were introduced. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. You have already listened to a conversation where can and should were introduced. Those are called modal verbs. Modal verbs show a speaker's attitude or mood. We can also use them to ask for and give advice. Stay with us as we will explain them. Modal verbs can and should. What can I do in Mexico City? You can see the Palace of Fine Arts. You can't visit some museums on Mondays. What should I see there? You should visit the National Museum. You shouldn't miss the Pyramid of the Sun. Okay, we'll talk about the modal verbs can and should. This is how we'll use it in a question. WH question word plus modal verb plus subject plus verb plus question mark. Where should we go? And this is how we use it in a positive sentence. Subject plus modal verb plus verb plus complement. We should go to a museum. This is how we use it in a negative sentence. Subject plus modal verb plus not plus verb plus complement. We shouldn't go to a museum. It is important to notice that models do not take a final S and neither does the main verb. He should go to a museum. Maria shouldn't drink. Did you notice? There's no change on should and neither on the main verb go. Okay. Let me explain to you how to use can and should, okay? What is can? Poder. Can Poder. is a verb in auxiliary too. Okay, good. So can only has two positive, I mean, two possible answers. Yes, I can. No, I can't. Correct? Yes, I can. No, I can't. Can is an ability, habilidad. Example, can you swim, medium? No, I can't. No, I can't. Aida, can you dance, merengue? No, I can't. No, I can't. Jose Jovito, can you dance, lambada? No, I can't. Noemi, can you make mariscadas? Yes, I can. Yes, what? Uh, yes, I can. Excuse me? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Very good. 
Hey, Guzman. What's up? Can you make can you make pulpo octopus? No, I can't. You you don't make that in almendros? Like I I, I can't, but oh, okay. my mother she prepares she can. all about the food. She can oh very yeah, good. All can. right. Jose Isaias. Yes, teacher. Hello, sir. Hello. Can you use... Well, can you drive? Yes, I can. All right, good. Jose Arturo, can you repair... Can you repair Teslas? Yes, I can. Okay, lo voy a mío, entonces. What? <laughs> I solo tengo dos, pero no, 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 sí, tranquilo. Teslas. Rosa Barahona, hi. Hi, teacher. Rosa Barahona, can you say el gran Bob compró un gran bate de béisbol in English? Usted no me quiere, teacher. Muy grande me puso a mí la oración. No, no, pero es fácil. Oiga, el gran Bob compró un gran bate de béisbol. ¿Cómo se dice el gran Bob? Uh, can you say that in English? Bill. Bill. Oh, okay, demo. Big Bob. Oh. Big Bob. Um, compró. Bot. What? Um, butter baseball. A big, big yeah. baseball bat. A big, big, big baseball bat. Okay, so entonces big, big Bob bought a big baseball bat. <laughs> That's uh, Tango Tuesday, right? Bob. Yes. Big Bob. <laughs> big. Bot. No, bot, no. Big Bob. Big Bob. Big Bob. Big Bob. Bot. Bot. A big baseball bat. A baseball bat. <laughs> yes. Okay, so you can say it. You can. All right. Okay. Catherine. Thank you. Catherine Giselle, hi. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, <laughs> Catherine, where do you work? Do you work? Uh, no, I, I am not work. Do you study? Yes. What do you study? I study speak. Statistics. Yes. Oh man, very good. Listen, can you can you swim? Yes, I can. Can you cook? Yes, I can. Can you dance? Yes, I can. Nice. Can you drive? No, I can't. <laughs> no, I can't. Okay, good. Okay, clase, pero ya vieron eso. Yes, I can. No, I can't. Yes, I can. No, I can't. Esa habilidad. Y en todas, yo les pregunté acerca de un verbo, no de una, de una. Yo no les dije, ¿pueden matemáticas? Sí, sí puedo. En español se puede decir eso, en inglés no. Matemáticas no es verbo. O sea, yes, I can. No, I can't. Only with verbs. Yes. Can you swim? Can you cook? Can you walk? Can you speak Chinese? Okay. Teacher, excuse me. Yes. Hey, yo estoy aquí hoy. <laughs> Pero no sé por qué siempre la cámara no se me quiere conectar. Ella sola se me desconecta. Oh, 
Okay. Oh. ¿Y está en celular o laptop? No, es en, es en la laptop. Del teléfono sí se me conecta la cámara. No sé si mejor me conecto en el teléfono. Usted sabrá, pero si es la laptop y se la apaga, puede que tenga un falso su cámara. Uh -huh. Que suele pasar que en medio tocarlo. Y también la, la otra pregunta es que en la, en la tarea esta que está viendo de la 1.9, uh -huh. eh, a mí me dice que todavía no hay publicación en este tema, no puedo contestar. Y en la 1.10 me parece lo mismo. ¿A todos les parece eso? No. No, no Ok, entonces quizás por lo visto, Ana Rivas, debe de ser un problema técnico de su lado. Eh, bueno, lo que puede hacer, si gusta, le puede, en, en el chat del, del grupo. Eh, puede contactar a alguien de, tecnic, de técnico y ok uh -huh. ok Thank you, o sea, si algún día me quieren preguntar algo a mí personalmente en el chat por favor eso le voy a pedir escríbame directo porque a veces me abro el chat y veo 180 conversaciones y me oh man <risa> como, ajá, no, no estoy pendiente o sea, como en, el, en el día de trabajo también y y a veces no sé, alguna de esas son para mí y, pero al leer los 180 no, no, no la verdad no tengo tiempo para empezar a leer todos y ver si pero si me escriben uno directo como teacher, aquí estoy, no entiendo esto etc puede que me tarde, pero sí les contesto uh -huh. Okay, so do you understand can and can't? Yes. Yes, yes. All right. Now we're going to do should. 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 What is should? Debería. Excuse me? Debería. Deberías, yes. ¿Qué es deberías? Like an okay. advice? Advice, yes. Advice. You, you should. Some more verb or advice. Sugerencia. Exactly. We're going to start with Jose Rodriguez, Mr. Entre Sueños. What do you recommend in, in that restaurant? Uh, I do. You should. You should. Uh, punta de lomo. Tú deberías punta de lomo. ¿Y el verbo? Punta de lomo. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. You should. should uh, punta de lomo. Okay, after you should, what is next? Punta I'm sorry. Lo, lo siento, yo no puedo oír. No sé si alguien más lo oye, que me ayuden. Sugerir. Yo después de should no, no entiendo qué, qué quiere lomo. decir. Él quiere decirle que vaya a punto de lomo, pero le falta el verbo de que vaya. Solo le dice you should. Tú deberías punta de lomo. Jose Carlos, please uh, put, put your microphone close. It's very difficult to understand. You can hear me? Now, yes. Okay. Uh, you should eat uh, Punta de Lomo. Very good. Okay, yes. Yes, it was correct. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Yes, you should eat Punta de Lomo. It's good? All right, good. All right. Or probably, teacher, uh, he can say, uh, you should to order. You should order. Okay. Okay. Uh, Jose Arturo, you Jim. are a mechanic, correct? Yeah. This is an example. I need a car, but I only have $3,000. What do you recommend? 
um, you, you should you should buy um, an Hyundai Accent. Okay, good. Are those good cars? The Hyundai Accents. Hello. Yeah. Hey, what happened? Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, the, the teacher. Now oh, the teacher is disconnected. Ah. Yep. Sorry, I, I lost internet for a few seconds. I'm sorry. Yes. No so, uh, so back to the example, what car should I buy, uh, Jose? Um, you should buy a uh, Hyundai Accent. Very good, very good. Um, Ana Lisette Rivas. Okay. Hi. Hi. How are you? Very good. I have a problem. What? Tomorrow is my wife's birthday. Mm. And I only have $20. Where should I take her for dinner? Mm -hmm. um, Your house teacher, you you should buy her flowers and um, take her out uh, to dinner. Okay. That's not my problem. My problem is I only have $20. Uh, only flowers. <laughs> Complete, please. You should buy her flowers. OK, very good. Yes, thank you. I should buy her flowers and Don Pollo. No, no. <laughs> OK, good. Bad food, bad food. No, you know what? I should, I should go to the cemetery and look for beautiful, fresh flowers. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's Take a nice key. <laughs> Come on. Ah, yeah. Take them and give her to her. Because yeah. women like flowers. Yes, in the cemetery there are beautiful flowers no, always. No, 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 no. <laughs> they cost only two quotas. <laughs> no, but in the cemetery, I don't escoge. Hey, that's nice. No. That's, que bonito ese arreglo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My father did that. Oh. I remember when I was little, we went to the um, cemetery. And my father always got flowers from different <laughs> graves. And he recollected and he put them in my grandmother's. Y no me voy a morir sin hacer eso con mi hijo because it was so fun. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you, Ana Lisette Rivas. So tomorrow I will go to the cemetery. Uh, bad man. <laughs> No, no, this is an example. All right, good. Uh, okay. Let me see. I can no le he preguntado. Me, teacher. Oh, Anna, thank you. Me, 
Hey, teacher. Okay. Hi, Anna. Anna and Lisa. Okay. Anna. I have um This is an example, okay? I think oh, I feel very sick. I can't I can't smell. I feel I feel strange because I can't smell. Anna? No I understand teacher. Okay, look, please look at me then. I can't smell. No good. I can't smell. I can't smell. I am worried. You, you sick? Maybe. You. Hello. Uh oh, I think we lost Anna. We lost Anna. Okay, Lisa Flores, then help me. Help Anna. Uh, you should. Come Rats. on. <laughs> hey, ¿Qué es lo que está pasando en el mundo ahorita, man? <laughs> yeah. Coronavirus. Help me, people. Okay, what should I do? Oh, come on, man. It's like. You should, you should, you should uh, go to the doctor. Okay, you should uh, go to the you doctor. Should you should take the, the COVID medicine. test. Me, me, yeah. Medicamentos? You should drink tea, uh, manzanilla. Wow, usted ya me están, ya me están medicando sin antes mandarme a hacerme el examen primero. <laughs> Yeah. My, I, yo, yo le diría a alguien, si alguien me dice eso, hey man, you should, you should take the test. You should, you, you should call one, two, three. Yeah, you should call one, two, three. You should take the test. Maybe it's COVID. Probably, teacher, probably uh, you should drink uh, two. Omicron. Uh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Drink a, a bottle of uh, alcohol. <laughs> of liquor. <laughs> a liquor. Yeah, you should drink tequila. Ah, <laughs> uh, tequila. <laughs> no, you, you should drink carao. Do you share? Yes. <laughs> uh, you should drink uh, tea ginger and you take uh, the Take the test. <laughs> and take the test, yes. Okay, good, yes. Okay, good. Me da risa como todos me estaban medicando. Como hacemos todos. Sin mandarme primero a hacerme el examen. <laughs> or you should, or you should put on. Primero online. me urge. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. No, but you know what? Um, if you ever have COVID, please. Háganle caso al doctor, man. Ya yeah, es porque todo eso de que coman limón, que, que miel con no sé qué, es, puede que sea malo. Y, y se lo puedo decir rápido, mi hermano, es, él es médico, trabaja en la OPS, y entonces él me dice de que el COVID afecta, obviamente a todos, pero a gente que padece de diabetes o diabética o de sangre tiende a es más 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 como es débil a esa enfermedad ajá exacto entonces me dice hay gente que está recomendando no hombre toma bastante limón que limón mata eso o, 
y entonces la gente está solo tomando limonada, limonada, pero la limonada le echan azúcar. Y, y una cosa me dice, toda la gente o el 90% de la gente que tiene diabetes no lo saben hasta que van a pasar consulta. Y él me ha dicho, yo de 10 pacientes que les digo, mire, usted sabe que es diabético. ¿Qué? Sí, su examen es terminado. Yo no sabía eso. Nadie sabe. Entonces, y si alguien está eh, comiendo miel, cinco cucharadas diarias con azúcar, entonces me dice, lentamente los están matando más. <ríe> ya. Yeah. No, entonces por eso me dice, no, no, no vayas a hacer, cuando a mí me dio, me dice, porque no estaba en el país, no vayas a hacer caso a nadie, hace lo que te dicen los doctores. Yo, ok. Y cabal, gente me llamaba, no, tomate tres cucharaditas de miel con, con jazmán, con pimienta, con sal, con no sé qué. Pero, man. Lo que sí hacía bastante era chupar limón con sal. Pero yo les di ese ejemplo de hueler porque no podía hueler. Me quedo. Teacher. Yes. Uh, you put uh, sal with uh -huh. limón and tequila. Of course, yes. <laughs> <laughs> no lemon, no sal, tequila, like boom, tequila. tequila. Hay un dicho, one tequila, two tequila, three tequila. Floor. <laughs> you understand? One tequila, two tequila, three tequila, floor. <laughs> Are you alcoholic? <laughs> Excuse me? Uh, to Miriam, are you alcohol alcoholic? No, I'm not alcoholic. No. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yes, I drank. Uh, tequila, oh. but when yeah, I uh, yeah, when yeah. I was a uh, 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 young, but now no. No, I I, I drink tequila. I... Yes. <laughs> no soy I, bola. <laughs> no, but really, I, I really worry. I love tequila. I love tequila, and I always have tequila in my house. But I drink maybe one or two. Like. Aún tengo la botella de Navidad. <laughs> It's a big one. But sometimes I drink a shot, like at night, como, ah, ese quemón es nice. Pero cuando tenía 20, no me podía tomar solo uno. It's like, like oh no, I continued. <laughs> Now, no. Miriam, I recommend you one thing. En esta clase, por cierto, en... No, la, la, en diciembre había un alumno mío que era, ganó el mejor bartender de Centroamérica, el mejor París. He was a bartender que ganó el, y me recomendó algo y lo probé. Intente tomar tequila con fresa. It's good. Oh, I, 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 I don't drink uh, alcohol. <laughs> no, my wife, my wife, she doesn't drink alcohol. <laughs> but no, no, but no, listen to this. One day, <laughs> some people drink tequila because, uh, you know. Ah, yeah, the, uh, the Mexican, uh, yes, uh, drink a tequila when, um, when, uh, when they are they sick. Have, uh -huh, sick. Uh -huh. You know, sometimes you, <coughs> that you want to put your hand inside and scratch. No, if you drink tequila, ah. But um, when if you drink tequila one day, drink tequila and a little strawberry, it disappears. Like, wow. <laughs> Mi esposa nunca en su vida pensó que iba a probar tequila. Probalo, no, no, y le hizo. Oh, qué feo. Y cuando probó la fresa, like, her reaction, like, wow. It disappears. I don't know why. With, con uva y fresa. So, un día que tengan una gran tos o dolor de pecho y se quieren rascar, enchense un tequila que les queme todo. You, no, teacher, you should go to the doctor. 
before the doctor before the doctor you should maybe drink one tequila <laughs> or two yeah maybe one maybe two maybe three yeah Teacher, <laughs> maybe one. Teacher, yes. este, ¿cómo se llama? Jose Isaías, uh, he thinks I am, uh, I am uh, alcoholic. Uh, al alcoholic. <laughs> no, Jose. <laughs> you look like. No, no. Ah, okay, no. okay, okay. <laughs> no. You, you no. hate me. You hate me. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Uh, <laughs> Okay, now class, listen, I'm going to give you a situation. You send me un consejo, okay? A situation and um, you give me a good advice, okay? For example, Miriam Cabezas. I like hot peppers. I like hot sauce, salsa, chile, like hot sauce. What do you recommend? You should, uh, you should, um uh Jalisco you should buy ah you should buy uh Jalisco paper mm, ah. nah, man <laughs> it's the in that's the very uh, that's very in Mexico is different in Mexico it's different but no, in El Salvador no in El Salvador you should buy trompa de chucho uh -huh. man where buy. You should buy it. grosero. Teacher, have no, <laughs> trompa de chucho de Japacho <laughs> grosero. Bueno, con trompa, trompa de chucho he matado las termitas en mi casa. <laughs> eso, no, eso es tóxico, man. Eso es criminal. Yes or no, Aida? Have, have, have you ever tried trompa de chucho? No, teacher, uh, but okay. I. Hmm? Uh, I I hear is is very very. It's uh, it's very it's very 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 strong. Strong yes. Like grosero is a baby compared to trompa de chucho. Man. Mm -hmm. It's yes. So I recommend if you like if you like I think they sell in dispensa on Juan the trompa on the mercado right? trompa de chucho. <laughs> Imagine trompa de chucho. That's funny. All right. Okay. Aida. Aida. Um, yes. I mm. like chicken nuggets. I okay, really like chicken you, nuggets. What do you recommend? Okay. You can buy. You uh, should buy. Okay. You should buy uh, chicken nuggets at uh, Wendy's. It went and okay, when is and you you uh, I don't know and you um, buy a hamburger you, too. You should buy a hamburger. You should too. buy a hamburger too. Very good. With the all right, Mr. Guzman. Since since tomorrow is my wife's birthday, I want to take her. To a nice restaurant, what do you recommend? You should go to Mr. Donut. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Entre <laughs> to los amigos, but let me know Entre first. <laughs> no, like I want to take her to a nice, classy, expensive restaurant. Oh my god. Um... Pueblo Viejo. No, classy and expensive. Don Ramos. Okay, more. Los cebollines. <laughs> La pampa. Okay. Yeah, show me the pampa and the volcano. Yeah, okay, good. A lo que iba, okay, thank you everybody, the, the cebollines y uh, todo eso, pero. Sure. Uh, yes. You are in mute, Harrison. Sorry. <laughs> uh, you should visit a Faisca restaurant. Faisca do Brazil. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's expensive. 
That's minimum one hundred dollars for my wife and me. Yes, mm, but it's very good, very good. Um, oh, también podemos ir. You should go to the volcano. There are many beautiful restaurants in the volcano, right? Or you should go. You, hmm? you should you should go to Volcatenango. Volcatenango. Where is Volcatenango? Um, is in um, on the volcano in Santa Tecla. Oh, really? Yep. Volca Volcatenango. I, I never heard of that. Okay. My picture is the um, Volcatenango restaurant. Oh, really? Okay, good. Oh, okay. Volcatenango is the park um, restaurant is green, no sé qué. Uh, y um, Toro, Punta Toro. And that's in Santa Tecla, Volcatenango? No, um, Volcán de San Salvador. Es que en la oh. carretera del Volcán de San Salvador. Ajá. Oh, y okay. el, es un parque turístico. En realidad los restaurantes se llaman The Green, no, Linda Vista parece que se llama algo así. Oh, okay. Y el otro se llama Punta Toro, pero sí es clásico y una gran experiencia. Oh, ok, nice. I, ok. Oh, ok, More. thank you. Pero como ya estamos casados, yo la voy a llevar a comer pupusa. <laughs> We're married, man. Let's go to los planes. Vaya, para que sea más fancy. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Digo eso porque está dormida ya. <laughs> okay, let me see. Noemi. Hi, teacher. Hi. Imagine, okay. My wife recently, she vomits all the time and she's dizzy. If she smells, uh oh. Bleh. Hmm. And I said, why? ¿Qué te pasa? And she's sick. But that's recently. Le estoy dando síntomas de algo, de lo que pasa a una mujer. <laughs> Help me, man. Use your imagination. No sé qué I imagine. I imagine. Thank you. Thank you. So, Noemi, what, what, what should I do? She, she's always, she's always oh, dizzy. Y if she smells, she vomits. The Wi-Fi show go to the doctor. Why? Okay, okay. Miriam, help me. Me teacher, me teacher. You should... Uh, go to the doctor with your uh, wife because probably he's pregnant. pregnant. Oh man, she's <laughs> pregnant, maybe. Yes, thank you. Good, yes. Good, you should go to the doctor or your wife should take a pregnancy exam. Oh. No, no, there, there's many, but that was yeah, good. That was yeah, good. Yeah. That's the idea. And very good. I like, usted me hizo más larga. La, la, la. That was good. You should go to the doctor with your wife. Maybe she's pregnant. Yeah. Okay, or she's pregnant or is COVID. <laughs> One of the two. Excuse me. How do you say embarazada? Pregnant. Pregnant. Pregnant, pregnant. Pregnant, pregnant. Una cosa, cuando, cuando les cuesta pronunciar una palabra, un buen truco, díganlo en sílabas. Por ejemplo, pregnant, pregnant, pregnant. Son dos, después díganlo en uno. Pregnant. Pregnant. Ah, o sea, miren, pregnant, two. O díganlo en uno. Pregnant. Es como, por ejemplo, uh, 
Toronja. Toronja. Toronja se dice tangerine. Y hay gente que le cuesta, entonces you say tangerine. Tangerine. Three. Hoy díganlo en dos. Tanja. Ups, ya lo voy a estar en tres. Tangerine. Three. Tangerine. Three. Say it in two now. Tangerine. Tangerine. Two. Hoy en uno. Tangerine. Hasta que lo puedan decir. Tangerine. Yeah. Díganlo en... en... Yo sé lo cuando le doy clases de español a alguien. Pupusa, what? Papa, pu, 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 what? <ríe> y se quedan. Pupusa. Y ahí están los pueblos. Pupusa. Pupusa. Ok, three. Now in two. Pupusa. Pupusa. Ok, good. Now in one. Pupusa. Yeah. <ríe> you get it. Yes. Hasta que... Si uno así le enseñaban a sus hijos, no, de sí, carro, carro. Así, así le enseñamos a nuestros hijos a hablar, ¿no? No, yeah. zapato, en sílabas. Y de verdad, esa es la forma que, uh -huh, que hasta se les queda. Ok. All right. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Rosa Barahona, hi. Hi, teacher. How are you? I am sick and COVID. You have COVID? Mm -hmm. Yes. In this, in, in this moment? Are you, are you, yes. in, are you in quarantine? Yes. I am. You are in quarantine. In my bed. Okay. In yes. I, Not, my daughter, my, how do say yerno? Yerno, how say My son-in-law. My son. My son-in-law. Uh -huh. You, so, your daughter, the three have COVID. Yeah. Oh, man. Hey, una, una yes. pregunta. ¿Qué hacen cuando los tres siempre están juntos o están separados? Oh, no. I am, I, yo vine. Yo vine a visitar. Entonces, ya no me puedo ir porque si vine a visitar, deduzco que ya me contagiaron. Yes. O sea, yo no me he hecho el examen, ¿verdad? Pero ella oh, okay. me metió en la cama también junto con ellos porque ya vine aquí, ya no me voy. Yeah, okay. ¿Cómo puedo decir eso en inglés? I come en inglés. I came. Me dicho, quiero decir. Ok, ok, I listen came. to this. Lo vamos a hacer más fácil, ok. I came to visit. I came to visit. Mm -hmm. They have I COVID. To visit my daughter. Ok, good. I come. My daughter and her husband. My daughter, a, a husband, correcto. Uh -huh. Mi hija y su esposa. Uh -huh. They yes. have COVID. They have COVID. Now, mm -hmm. COVID. now uh -huh. maybe I have COVID. Correct. Maybe, maybe. Uh -huh. Pero so, también, entonces, uh -huh. so I am in quarantine. So I am in quarantine. Very yes. good. Ahora todos demosles consejos a Rosa. Rosa, you should listen to the doctor. Um, Rosa, yeah. you should you should call uh one to three humble humble lens. Uh, or so or you should you um, should take the test. Yeah, you should you should drink the tequila. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, you should drink tequila. Yeah, that's that's advice. Tequila. <laughs> with oh, with beautiful. I, I have Grand Malo here. Really? Where where did you get the Grand Malo? I have never tried that. No, um, my my brother came came here on December from Mexico. 
Oh, okay. Oh, cool. All right. Well, Rosa, you should. I maybe maybe if you should take the, the exam just for. Yes, uh, tomorrow. All right. Good. Be careful. Okay. All right. Okay, class. Entonces, muy bien. Uh, así es como se usa can y should. Alguien me puede recordar el lunes que le voy a enseñar realmente cómo se usan can, could, should y would. Le voy a enseñar bien cómo es que se usan porque van a ver que es es fácil a la, ya entendiendo lo es fácil. <ríe> ok. Mm. Y recuerden eso, es un consejo que les doy cuando les cuesta pronunciar algo o decir algo, dígalo en sílabas. Yes, teacher, I'm, I'm a question. Yes. Yo había contestado hasta el 2 de la lección y me cayó un mensaje de que tenía que tenerlo terminado por completo, pero veo que apenas van por el 2 porque ayer no me conecté, estaba muy mal, mal. No, no podía ni soportar hablar ni nada. Sí, Entonces, es que... Pero ahorita apenas van por el 2 y ya lo completé y me mandaron un mensaje que si no me lo completaba, no lo conectara. O sea, antes de conectarme tenía que tenerlo es que, El, y eso no sé pero nunca va a cambiar pero en un mundo perfecto en un mundo perfecto si una clase fuera de cinco alumnos fuéramos bien pero yo prefiero mejor que todos vayamos gente o sea vamos a terminar lo que el, 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 lo vamos a hacer pero prefiero ir prefiero que mejor todos participe, participemos y todos entendamos bien lo que estamos viendo a solo pasar rápido y, y, y estar al día. Entonces, don't worry. Ahí lo vamos a hacer. Yo terminé el que, el que, el, el show, que lo terminé. Y ahí va por el otro, pero de oír yeah. los videos. Mm -hmm. Y digo, yo, bueno, voy bien y me mandaron un, un mensaje que tengo que ir más rápido. Y es que los mandan en general siempre. Mandan, siempre mandan ah, eso. Bueno. Ajá, don't worry. <ríe> no. Ok, thank you, teacher. You're This welcome. Is... ¿Ah? Entonces, lo que les digo, recuerden de que cuando, si les cuesta decir algo, vaya, ¿saben cómo se dice fresa en inglés? Strawberry. Oh, Strawberry. Ok, good. lo digo en tres sílabas. Dígalo en dos, Miriam. Strawberry. 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 Good, ahí está. Ahí dígalo en uno. Strawberry. Uh -huh. yeah. Así, así, de verdad, así, así van a aprender a pronunciar bien. Y, y lo chivo es de que cuando ya lo dicen como en, no sé, lo que necesitan, cuatro, tres, dos sílabas, ya cuando lo logran decir en uno, lo empiezan a repetir y repetir, ya no se vuelven a confundir. <ríe> yes. All right, good. Palabra del día, gringo. ¿Saben de dónde viene gringo? No. Um, I have a, a little idea. Where? Um, in, in Mexico, when when they are in civil war, they say uh, "green go," because um, the United States soldiers are uh, their dresses are color green mm -hmm. and the Mexican say uh, green go mm -hmm. Fuera verde. Yeah. yes because the soldiers they're always dressed in green but actually what happened was that it, Mexico and United States did not have a war Mexico the government in that time they were very stupid or no sé pero Ellos vendieron, they sold that property. California, Texas, Arizona, all that was Mexico. Yes. United States did not take that. United States paid. Yes. So when the Mexican people did not want to leave, was that the soldiers, hey, this is not Mexico, now it's United States. Y lo pobre, no, man, this is Mexico, gringo, fuera verde. Gringo, gringo. Y ahí quedó gringo. 
Fuera de. Uh -huh. Fuck, gringo. <risa> 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 Fornication, uh, okay, under, under, uh, uh, consentment, consentment of the king, of the king, <laughs> fornication under consentment of the king. Sure, oh my WhatsApp status, that word. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, the meaning. <laughs> No, es un buen tema de conversación. Imagine you're drinking coffee. ¿eh? ¿Qué significa eso? Bueno, sabes que en el tiempo medieval, <laughs> you start talking. And, <laughs> hey, it's a good conversation. <laughs> okay. Okay, class. Have a very, very nice weekend. Okay. Teacher, how are they coming? Thank you. Sure. I don't know. I don't know if somebody here knows about Bitcoin, but right now is on their port. $40,000. And it's, it's nice price to buy it if somebody oh, wants to buy. It's a good moment to buy, to invest. Yeah, it's a, it, it's a good moment to invest um, the money that you don't need right now. You have to invest the money for a long time. For example, for six months or for a year. Maybe gonna the price gonna be uh, different, and you can get a lot of money. Remember, ten years ago, I think it was that one Bitcoin was sixty dollars. <laughs> yeah, I I, I know I, I know something that is that is real, and the 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 man uh, I don't know. It's possible that he wants to to kill him, but he bought three Bitcoin 10 years ago, and he decided to change one Bitcoin for, I don't know the, the word in English, amortiguador para el vehículo. I seriously. Yeah, that's real. It is from here. I remember I say, what I remember maybe 10 years ago I took a taxi and the taxi driver in Hoven, a young man he had there was not Uber in that time but it was not a yellow taxi it was a particular car pirata right and we were talking and he, he explained to me and I said, what, you, you, why, why do you drive a taxi? He says, oh, I can't perdí mi trabajo at this, en un banco. And then the bank, and I bought this car and now I drive the taxi and I invest in Bitcoin. And I asked him, yes, no, en la moneda virtual, no sé qué. He says, in El Salvador, this is not very big, but, and I remember he showed me on the telephone, look, this is the Bitcoin, but por ejemplo, aquí sube y baja, y yo en mi mente, está loco este chavo, este tonto en lo que invirtió. <laughs> y, y yo le pregunté, how much yeah. is one Bitcoin? $60. Mira, ahorita andan 60, pero baja 40, 60, yo, ah, oh, okay. But uh, only in the United States, so I you know, like, and now one Bitcoin is forty thousand oh. dollars. Can you imagine that? Right now it is for there are thirty nine, three hundred sixty six. Wow. But at the on time machine, huh? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, but 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 I bought um, a little bit about Bitcoin, like uh, five hundred dollars in forty forty thousand a few months ago, and the price increased until six sixty thousand, I think, and I got around three four hundred dollars. Wow. 
Nice. Yes, you know what? Well, that, I'm, I, I'm that's going. That's real, right? I'm going to invest in, in Bitcoin. <laughs> <laughs> but no use, Chivo. Please. Oh, really? It's not good. No, mm. definitely it's not so good. Okay. And you know, I think I think that Bitcoin really, really is the future, man. Because yeah, in the United States, people pay with the cell phone now. All you do is, yeah. you know, people. Yeah, that's true. My that's the future. Um, where where my brother lives in the United States, he tells me that in the banks. Y está pasando en El Salvador, de hecho. But like in, in, in the United States, the banks now in California, some banks maybe only have five employees. Wow. Because everything is online. The supermarkets, ya no hay cashiers. I mean, yes, there's CIDS, maybe two cashiers and everybody you pay, you do it yourself. In Despensa on Juan, they're doing that. No, yes. Yes. Ya, estamos, ya nos están yes. preparando, like, de aquí a un proyecto a cinco, diez años. Yeah, so um, that's the future. Everything is virtual, virtual, virtual. Y, you know, eso, 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 eso eh, estaba viendo que es la, la, estaba viendo una cosa en, en Estados Unidos que, terminaron hablando de, de Bukele y lo comparaban con el con Canadá cuando es la diferencia porque en Estados Unidos saber por qué todos los presidentes tienen que tener más de 70 años <ríe> y no se queda really que una persona de 70 años cómo puede controlar uno de los países más importantes del mundo entonces empezaron a hablar lo de Canadá hoy cuando ya son los milenial, mileniales Millenniums, que, o sea, eh, como el de Canadá, que ya traen ideas milenales. <ríe> y por eso es bien difícil que se adapte un, un país, especialmente un país tercermundista, a estas nuevas ideas. Y, y, y mencionaron así a Bukele y, y dijeron, wow, por ejemplo, el, que por cierto, hablaron mal de Salvador, <ríe> como siempre. Imagínense El Salvador, El Salvador, quien iba de uno de los países más pobres y empiezan a hablar y terminó siendo el primer país en aceptar Bitcoin y todo. Entonces, un buen riesgo tomó el chavo, pero a ver, pero una cosa, esto no va a desaparecer. Eso sí dijeron, eso yeah. es cierto. Yeah, yeah, you know, you know something, uh, today I'm selling the car, uh, it is uh, 2013 Mazda 3 yeah. and it's for $6,500. And mm -hmm. the customer said, hey, can I pay on Bitcoin? Yes, of course. I said that. Oh, man. Uh, how yeah. much are you going to pay in Bitcoin? Like uh, $2,000? Yes, it is possible. Why not? Intelligent. The thing is to make a business, right? Yes. And I, I, can go, I can send the money from Bitcoin to my bank of and course, get a cash. Yeah. Yes, it's true. It's true. It's very true. I'm going. I'm going to invest. Maybe one hundred dollars. Cada dos meses. <laughs> Sin tocar. <laughs> and when the, the, the the thing is that you have to invest the money that you don't need it for a long time. It's true. If you need the money, please don't invest. That's the key. That's that I do. Very good, Guzman. Thank you for that. Good, good idea. Yes. Okay, class. Thank right. you very much. I'll see you Monday. Okay. Have a very, see very Monday, good yeah, weekend. Thank you, Monday, thank you so right. much. You too. Take care. Tomorrow, tomorrow, I'm going to go to the cemetery nice. and get and get flowers. <laughs> <laughs> bye, bye, bye.